Here you see an upper second molar that does not have an antagonist molar contact. So one of the classic features in such a scenario is supra eruption of the upper seven. Now this can be very dangerous because it is a very common reason for patients developing temporomandibular joint disorders. What you see here is the upper six has a good antagonist contact. So what I have done is I've created a small extension in the restoration, almost like a rest that goes onto the occlusal surface of the upper seven, thereby ensuring that the tooth does not supra erupt. Let me just show this to you from the occlusal perspective. This is the first molar with a small extension. Now remember, there is no preparation done on the seven. Just this extension of the restoration that basically prevents the upper seven from supra erupting. Let's see how this looks in an exocad design. Lab communication is the key here. I want you to see this exocad that the technician has designed for me. This is by Advanced Dental based in uh, Surat. I'm going to give you the contours of the first and the second premolar, which is kind of standard, but it's the first molar design, which is critical. As you can see, the small extension over the seven is what is going to do the trick for me. It's going to ensure that that upper seven does not supra erupt. It's a small change in your design, but it can evade a major complication in the future. So think minimalistic, communicate with your technicians, and as always, do the best that you can for your patients.